what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here. Uh, gonna break this one down for you. Uh, super tasty riffs. Kind of, uh, kind of like the blues scale kind of idea. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll zoom in, show it all to you. Also, uh, really appreciate you subscribing to this YouTube channel of mine. Uh, I've got a lot of cool stuff planned, and I can't wait to show it all to you. So please subscribe, and uh, also like the video and leave comments. I just really appreciate uh, all your support. So thanks again. Uh, enough of that. Let's zoom in, break this one down. Here we go. All right. So this whole song is based on um, blues techniques in the key of A. You know, there's extra notes. It's more of a rock, rock and roll song, but it's really got the blues in its DNA. So we've got, uh, you know, the opening line is vocals. Right? And then we do the main line. So it starts on the seventh fret. You can think of it as the A minor pentatonic or A blues scale. But there's going to be an extra note right there. So we start with a ring finger on the seventh of the A string. Then we go five, six, seven on the D. So I hit the seven on the D and I roll it over to the seven on the A. So then I go to the five on the G. So it starts on the seven of the A, and then on the D, five, six, seven, then seven on the A, five on the G. And you can kind of pull it down a little bit. So the next little move is So it starts with the ring finger on the 7 of the G then I slide it up a whole step. So 7 9 So you add that to what we already did. And then we got to plant our index on the 5 of the G so we can do a hammer on pull off on the 7 of the G. And then I'm doubling down, double down on the 7 of the D, which is the root. And then 5 on the G again. And root again. So that whole move. So let's add that to what we already learned, shall we? Fantastic. So the last move is five to seven on the D, and we play that twice. Then we move over to the A string, and we go five, seven on the A string. So five, seven, seven, five, seven, three. Then three, five on the A. Then an A power chord, which is going to be covering the second fret with one finger and hitting the open A and the second of the D and second of the G.
Okay, from the top, regular speed. Now slow. this next line, which is very similar to the first line. The timing of it, it doesn't fit necessarily in perfect time with the drums, which is actually really cool. So we're going to start on the 7 of the low E, and then on the A, 5, 6, 7, then roll it over. So exactly like we did here, but we just scoot it up a string. Timing actually will help to have a uh, a little click going here, and I'll just make one up. timing is kind of weird. Check it out. Three, four. to the next part. So, that final one, you do seven, five, six, seven, five, and you, it's just pulling off. So as soon as you get back to the seven, you're playing the first note of the main riff I showed you. Into the next section. So. line here that comes from the A major pentatonic. We're bending the fourth fret of the G string, releasing to the second fret, and then going back to the four with no bend, and then back to the second. So check it out. So 
it goes A, A with no lick on that first one, and then A, A, B, O, B, D, then again, then A, C, A, and I'm playing uh, a C where I'm muting the major third of the chord, so it's like a C power chord actually, and so I'm muting that D string with my middle finger. As opposed to, and then after you do that, you do the same lick here, but then you go down to the four of the D, then two of the D, and then middle finger tugged down on the third of the A, and you're in that power chord again. So check it out. playing the A and C section, the A to the C chord, so you have uh, so we're doing a One time where we bend this up, then we go four on the D, two on the D, then three on the A, with a little tug down. that whole A section. So there's one more section I want to show you, and it's based on that A power chord, and it's A power chord, then middle finger on the third of the low E. Back and forth like that. A, G, A, G, A, G, C, A. So the middle finger moves over to the third of the A. So then you go back and forth like this, and it's that A power chord. Then I'm playing a G power chord which uh, is just like a G, but that A string's muted. And then a D, and I'm muting the high E, so it's like a D power chord. So. through everything now. So we got the main line. Oops, sorry. And then we have the second line. Final section.
there was Lesson. Thanks again so much for hanging out with me. Uh, also, thank you for subscribing to this YouTube channel of mine. And if there's a song you'd like to learn, riff, a technique, any kind of lesson you'd like to see, go ahead and like this video and leave it in the comments below and I'll check it out. Uh, thanks again and uh, can't wait to see you real soon. See you later.